Welcome all to another installment of TISNET GK Questions. If you are a TISNET 2023 aspirant, stay with me for the next 10-15 minutes and we shall discuss another set of questions which are modeled on past TISNET GK questions. But before I start, I have an important announcement to make. I want to thank Andrea Matthew. Andrea Matthew, if you are listening, thank you very much. Thanks for pointing out that error and which I would want to rectify immediately through this video and through, through this medium. So if you have been following the TISNET GK series, the TISNET 2023 lecture series part 2, I made a mistake in talking about apogee and perigee. Apogee is the highest point which means it is the largest possible distance between earth and moon and perigee is the smallest possible distance between the earth and moon. Please, you know, uh, I, I regret the error that was made in uh, part 2 of this Tisnet GK series and once again a very big thank you to Andrea Matthew who pointed out the error. It is only because of students like you that we are, we, we realize how important our task is, how important our role is. Though we may have uh, many quality checks, but you know, some errors definitely creep through. It only shows that we are human. Thank you very much, Andrea Matthew, once again. God bless you and wish you the very best. With that, let us get started. And here are some of my gifts. If you are looking for some strategy related inputs or if you are looking for current affairs or general knowledge related inputs, you can follow and subscribe to our channel Pathfinder for me. If you are looking for some content related to quantitative aptitude, you can follow our channel Mend Your Math. You can also join our WhatsApp group and our Telegram channels where we keep posting uh, questions from time to time. If you are looking or if you want to inquire about our courses, you can WhatsApp on these numbers 93439-21347-9522-92468. With this, let us move on to our first question. What did Martin Luther King Jr. fight for? So, obviously he, of these four options, human rights, civil, children's rights, women's rights and civil rights. We know that he fought for civil rights, especially for people of color in America. So Martin Luther King, he was an American activist and leader of civil rights. He fought for the rights of colored people. So that's what he did. And one of his most famous speeches is I have a dream speech. You can just Google it up and listen to that famous famous speech. He received a Nobel Peace Prize in 1964. In fact at the time he was probably one of the youngest ones to have received. Not the youngest but one of the youngest. I think he, he must have been around 34 or 35 years at that time. Next Battle of Plassey was fought on the banks of which river? So your options are Mahanadi, Bhagirathi, Kosi and Gandak. So of all these rivers the correct answer should be Bhagirathi. So, Battle of Plassey was fought between the Nawab of Bengal, Sirajudola, and Robert Clive. And this was the battle between East India Company and Nawab of Bengal, uh, which after which the East India Company got solid control of India and, you know, especially Bengal. It started with Bengal. So, this was fought in 1757 and it was preceded by an attack on the British by Sirajudola and it was also preceded by the Black Hole tragedy in which quite a few British uh, soldiers died, especially when they were put up, put in a prison without any ventilation and they were cramped into that space. That tragedy is known as Black Hole's tragedy. Next, who is the author of the book called Indica? Options are Euclid, Hippocrates, Megasthenes and Sophocles. The correct answer is Megasthenes. Now, Megasthenes was a Greek general who came to India and he wrote 
book on the the times of i think chandragupta maurya he he, he was there with the, during the time of mauryan period and it gives us a lot of information about the the times or how people lived during those times although most of that book is lost but references to to the to the book indica exist and therefore is also uh, known to be one of the ancient greek historians megasthenes and he was also an ambassador to the court of chandragupta maurya so in this book he is described india as a quadrilateral with seas on both the sides and with many mountains and many rivers quite an accurate description because you know we we don't know how he was able to manage this kind of information with limited means during those times so indica written by megasthenes next what is the name of rani lakshmi bai is horse so the options are badal laila chetak and lali the correct answer is badal so although she had other horses to sarang and uh, sarangi and pavan but she rode badal while she was escaping the fort she was escaping from the british forces and ultimately you know the fight which led to her death so that happened in 1858 she was born as manikarnika tambe and there are other famous horses in the history chetak belong to maharana pratap this is something which we all know kanthaka belong to gautam buddha leli belong to maharaja ranjit singh next santhara is a religious ritual related to jain shaiva sahta or vaishnava the correct answer is jain now what is santhara now santhara is a religious ritual by which people give up eating and drinking and they do the they do this over a period of time slowly and they starve themselves to death you know it is one way of attaining you know it, it is one way of atta- attaining supreme spirituality so it is also known by the name sallekhana or samhelana so it's a voluntary practice of fasting to death and jains believe that mahavira the 24th tirthankara advised santhara as the supreme test of spirituality chandragupta maurya the key, the the famous founder of mauryan uh, dynasty has is believed to have engaged in santhara when he relinquished his uh, you know when he abdicated his position as the king next the sangai festival is organized in your options are arunachal pradesh manipur bihar and nagaland the correct answer is manipur it's an annual cultural festival organized by manipur tourism and it aims to promote manipur as a tourism destination and sangai is also the state animal of manipur next the prestigious raman magasese award was conferred upon ms kiran bedi for her excellent contribution to which of the following fields the options are literature community welfare government service and journalism this is an easy one it was offered for government service and this was way back in 1994 kiran bedi as you all know is and is actually a very uh, decorated ips officer she became an ips in 1974 and in 1992 as ig prisons she reformed tihar j and she also served later on as the lg of puducherry from 2016 to 2021 kiran bedi incidentally has also won the united nations medal 2004 and the president's medal in 1979 for her distinguished service the office of un general assembly is in your options are vienna new york paris and zurich the correct answer is new york un general assembly is one of the six principal organs of the united nations it is the policy making main policy making body of the un general assembly responsible for un budget appointment of secretary general and non permanent members of the security council saba korosi is the current president of un general assembly and you would be aware antonio guter is 
the secretary general of the united nations quartz crystals normally used in quartz clocks etc is chemically it is chemically the second most abundant thing found in the earth's crust silicon dioxide it is a form of silica and as i told you it is the second most abundant material available in the earth's crust behind feldspar quartz in addition to clocks is also used for jewelry making next the gases used in different types of welding wood include the options are oxygen and hydrogen oxygen hydrogen acetylene and nitrogen oxygen acetylene and argon and oxygen and acetylene the correct answer is oxygen acetylene and argon so argon is a inert gas it is used as a shielding gas during the welding process to keep the air out of arc of welding acetylene is used as a fuel for oxy cutting and oxy welding with this we come to an end of our session and you have these qr codes and if you wish to connect with us you can scan any one of them and connect with us you can also inquire about our courses on 9343921347 or 9522929268 with that uh, yeah you can also connect with me on this number directly with that thank you very much uh, keep watching and keep listening to us